morning I was thinking that I was going to film a whole other video and then I woke up to this lovely comment. <sighs> So I thought, you know what, I'm going to switch up my plans and do a whole video on how asexuality is a spectrum and how demisexuality plays into that spectrum and we are not just allosexual people with a preference. But before we get into the video, I just want to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe! I'm trying to get to 30,000 subscribers before Pride Month and it's like 83 or 84 percent of you who watch my videos who haven't subscribed so if you hit that subscribe button it would make this little and be very very happy also be sure to hit the notifications because we all know that youtube doesn't actually show the people who subbed the videos so do that too and let's get into the video i'm gonna read this comment and then break down all of the points this person said there's absolutely no hate to this person whatsoever it just gives me a opportunity to explain demisexuality a little bit better and hopefully let you guys know that we don't gatekeep here and that asexuality is a spectrum I'm sorry. I believe that demisexuality is real, but it's not a legitimate part of the LGBT. In my eyes, demisexual people are just people with a type that they are like the same way that allosexual people can have preferences for different traits like brown hair and different body parts. It's just that the favored trait of so-called demisexual people is people they already have a romantic relationship with. If you're demisexual, you're not asexual. You're just an allosexual person with a type of preference that happens to be slightly unusual. I'm gonna be breaking it down each line. So the very first thing that I'm going to touch on is that yes, demisexuality is a very real thing. It's something that people experience. I'm living proof of that. <laughs> and yes, being demi means you are part of the LGBTQIA plus community. Demisexuality is a label underneath the asexual spectrum and asexuality is part of the LGBTQIA plus community. So if you are demisexual, you are part of the community. You are not experiencing what normal allosexual people are experiencing. You are not having that heteronormative experience that all the other allosexual cishet people are. So yeah, you are part of the queer community. Even if you are heteroromantic demisexual, you're still part of the queer community if that's how you choose to identify. The second part of this is what really got me in thinking that demisexual people are like allosexual people with a preference. This is not what demisexuality is whatsoever. The definition of asexual is someone who feels little to no sexual attraction and demisexuals are part of that little bit of sexual attraction that asexual folks or people who fall under the asexual spectrum can experience. Bless you. Oh <laughs> god bless. And demisexuality means that you you have to form a close bond with someone in order for sexual attraction to happen. That is not what happens from my knowledge to allosexual people. Yes, there are allosexual people that might have a preference of, I'd rather know the person before I start to do anything, but they will still have that sexual attraction before that happens. Demisexual people do not feel sexual attraction whatsoever until that occurs and it can take an extremely long amount of time for some demisexuals. It's not like that for all demisexuals. I used to know someone who identified as demi and they were like, oh, it takes me about a month or two. For me personally, if those feelings are going to occur, it takes six to nine months if that's going to happen, which is a very, very long time because <laughs> most allosexual people will feel that immediate attraction and then say, I'm not going to participate in any sexual activity until I know the person more they still are having that sexual attraction with people who are on the demisexual side of asexuality. We literally do not have sexual attraction whatsoever until that happens. So no, it's not some sort of preference, like a body trait or something that a lot of allo allosexual people have. And I feel like this is where a lot of people get mixed up with demisexuality and thinking that everyone is like that. Because yeah, there are a lot of people who are like, I'm not going to have sex with anyone until I know them. However, they'll still have that sexual attraction even before. That's the preference. The preference is, oh, I need to get to know this person even though I'm sexually attracted to them. I'm not gonna do anything until I know them more. Whereas demisexuality, you literally do not feel that sexual attraction 
whatsoever unless you have that kind of relationship. I also feel like it's a little weird that this person said that demisexuals have to have a romantic interest in the person before having those sexual feelings. There are some demisexuals where you can have a platonic bond with someone and develop sexual feelings for them. So it doesn't necessarily just have to be romantic feelings with demisexuals in order to have that bond to eventually have sexual attraction. But I know a lot of people will equate you need to have the romantic attraction in order to have the sexual attraction. That is not true. There are plenty of demisexuals who form platonic bonds with someone will develop sexual attraction towards that person. It doesn't always have to be romantic. We shouldn't be centering romance on that high of a pedestal. So yeah, if you are demisexual, you're definitely under the asexual spectrum. There are plenty of labels under the asexual spectrum that you will sometimes feel sexual attraction and that is completely okay. Like I said in the beginning of this video, asexuality just means you experience little to no sexual attraction. People just want to pigeonhole all asexuals or people who fall under the asexual spectrum under being sex repulsed, having absolutely no sexual attraction, having no interest in it, all of that stuff. And that is just not true. There's actually a really wonderful study done by Angsty Ace who did a survey all about asexual sexuality. If you want to go check it out, it's over on her TikTok. I'll put that in a link down below. But it talks about how, yeah, there are plenty of ace people and people who are on the asexual spectrum who have an interest in sex or do occasionally feel sexual attraction. And it doesn't make them any less asexual. I personally feel like there shouldn't be gay keeping in the community. If someone is experiencing that little to no sexual attraction, even that little bit <laughs> of sexual attraction that they might feel, you're still not having the same experience as an allosexual person. Again, from my understanding, allosexual people feel sexual attraction on the regular. Like, I don't, I, I don't understand that. <laughs> like, I would be like, this is annoying, mostly because whenever I've felt sexual attraction, I've been like, oh my god, this is annoying. But yeah, I don't have the same experience as an allosexual person because I've never looked at a random person on the street and been like, yeah, I'd smash. <laughs> like, and that's what I've heard a lot of my allosexual friends say, like, oh yeah, I'd be down to like do stuff with that person and they don't know that person and they're literally just sexually attracted. That's never happened to me before. So I know for a fact that I'm on the asexual spectrum and anyone who feels or experiences the same things that I have is also on the ace spectrum if that's where they choose to identify. This video cleared up some of the misconceptions about demisexuality and how the ace spectrum is a spectrum and asexuality doesn't have to be pigeonholed into just sex repulsed asexuals who have never felt sexual attraction in their life. Yeah, it's a spectrum. <laughs> And it definitely belongs in the queer community because again, we're not experiencing that heteronormative experience that all other people who are allosexual have experiences with video let me know in the comments down below what you think like i said before we don't gatekeep here so demisexuality gray sexuality fray sexuality all of the micro labels that i can't think of right now but are also under the asexual spectrum are very much welcome on this channel and is a safe space for anyone who feels like they've gotten negative reaction to when they talk about having sexual attraction sometimes while also being on the asexual spectrum. This is a great community. We don't have to gatekeep. <laughs> uh, this is literally like the most wholesome community. And when we gatekeep, it makes me so sad. So yeah, I just figured I'd make this video explain demisexuality a little bit more, explain how asexuality is that definition of little to no sexual attraction. Um, and people really don't really want to focus on that little bit of sexual attraction that some asexuals or people on the asexual spectrum have. I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments down below. If you want to hear me talk more about other sexualities under the asexual spectrum like this, again, no hate to the person who commented this. It just kind of gives me a reason to explain demisexuality more and how it actually is queer and ace and is not just an allosexual person with an unusual preference. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.